Hello everyone, and welcome back to Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown. Last mission we tried to take that back the capital for Bonte, but there was a kind of a some crazy stuff happened with Soul Squadron and like some satellites and long story short, Wiseman is dead and everything's gone to hell. As far as the chaos we find ourselves in these days, it's difficult to say which side pulled the trigger first. Arugia deployed an automatic intercept system with drones. Osea implemented long-range attacks to bypass them. So Arugia decided to sabotage Osea's communications and navigation technology. Arugia couldn't launch a satellite themselves, but they were still able to hack the software of the Osean transmission and navigation systems. Before Osea even noticed, half of their satellites were hijacked. That's when things got ugly. In an attempt to knock out each other's capabilities, both forces launched fighters loaded with anti-satellite missiles at the same time. Only military satellites were targeted. However, their destruction created a debris field in orbit which wiped out scores of other satellites, both private and government owned. What kept the world relatively sane up to that point had been free-flowing data and information. But now, those were gone. All that remained was chaos and confusion. Cool Government visuals. and civilian broadcasts and transmissions were cut off. The flow of information had ceased. Forces on both sides of the conflict now found themselves unable to communicate with their superiors. Many of the smaller countries annexed by Arugia and yearning for their independence seized the opportunity and started their own uprisings. As for why some of Osea's military decided to break off from the main force and continue on their own, I have no idea. Perhaps there was some sort of dispute over the chain of command. The continent that had once seen wars that were only fought between Osea and Rugia was now full of numerous conflicts between rival leaders vying for power. Insurgencies were everywhere. I even heard a rumor that a group of Osean convicts had rebelled. Rumors. It never ceased to amaze me that even at a crazy time like this, something as trivial as a rumor could find its way here. Communications from corporate were cut off. Apparently, the entire computer network was down. It was a wise decision to make our drones autonomous with AI instead of being radio controlled. Was it? Wise and forward thinking. Even with their GPS offline, they can still use their sensors to navigate as long as they're working properly. I'm sure the drones are still working perfectly, following their mission orders to the letter. I wish I could upload Mihai's new data to them, but without a connection, I can't upload the software to the active drones. The new ones we're making though, there should still be enough time to upgrade those before they're activated. I'll be taking the data I've acquired away from the front lines now. Oh, and I'll be taking the girls too. I told my assistant Masa it was time to get Mihai's granddaughters ready to leave here. She's not much older than the girls, but she has a way about her, and I'm sure she won't have any trouble with them. I saw a plane flying off in the distance. I imagine it was looking for a safer place. The plane had a rose emblem on it. Oh, shit. Arusia's communication networks have been down since their satellites were destroyed. Unfortunately, we are experiencing trouble too. All of Yuzia has been affected, and we don't know when things will be back up and running. We're not even sure if this is Arugia's doing. Still, we will follow the strategy that was originally planned, and move on to the next operation after liberating Farbanti. Let's get to it. Since the war began, we've been receiving communications in secret from an officer in the Arugian army. With the capital under our control, Arugia's radical element is losing support quickly, affecting the balance of power. 
HQ is thinking of using the military officer as a way to gain leverage to settle peace negotiations. The officer is currently hiding in the outskirts of Anchorhead Bay, having joined up with support dispatch from the Ocean Army. The plan is that they'll take a standard vehicle to a rendezvous point at a harbor in the east part of the city, where a helicopter will be waiting. I would like the new Strider Squadron to provide escort for the officer. Cyclops will remain at the base on standby to serve as defense. With the communication network currently down in the capital, I very much doubt Arusia will be able to mount a regimented counterattack. However, it is likely that Arusia's intelligence department and the remaining forces who are aware of the officer's movements will interfere. Keep a close eye on the officer and make sure he stays safe. Our victory in Farbanti has given us a golden opportunity to finally end this war. Be safe out there. I will be. Take note that our satellite-based IFF has become unreliable following the recent <coughs> communications failure. As such, target ID will be done by processing the images from the infrared cameras on your aircraft. Objects will initially appear as unknown on your HUDs, but will be ID'd once you close in on them for a set period of time. So, long-range missiles probably aren't going to be the best choice for this mission. I know exactly what that means. That means that we need to get ourselves a... Where is it? A MiG-31 with a PLSL. Let's see. Emblem. Oh. Uh, I got it. Oh, I got Cyclops. Let's see. Um... Yeah, let's do Cyclops. Do I have any good skins? No. Wait, let's see. Sword you more than 100 times in multiplayer mode. And destroy the ace. Alright. So... Yeah, let's do this. Strider Squadron, you're cleared to taxi. The unidentified Ocean craft. This is Captain Carl of the Ocean Army. Are you here for the escort? You're not the squadron I was expecting. Are you really friendlies? Over. This is Longcaster. Airborne warning and control system for the Ocean Long Range Strategic Strike Group. Captain Carl, they're on our side. And those two pilots we've heard about must be here too. Okay, I hope you're right. Alright. Longcaster, are all of these really unknowns? It's a state of civil war. The Erosian army is fighting us. Oh, I like that. There's no guarantee the Oceans won't shoot us. Love the wave. Those glow. We'll image process the unknowns caught in your cams to identify friend or foe. The process will be faster if you get a close-up, well-centered image. Meanwhile, well just run if they shoot us, right? Affirmative. Always identify your target before we fire. Since it's kind of dark out, I'll be try to keep nice and safe. Oh, you see the the trail from my plane? Oh, I don't. Oh, I don't like doing this in make 31 five. Give me Strider Squadron's IDs. Oh, and hand me that sandwich. I wish I could fit a sandwich in my airplane. I wonder what the hardest food to eat in a fire jet would be. Maybe like spaghetti or something. Hey, good shit. This is AWAX from the LRSSG. Our info has been updated. Entering the Anchorhead Bay area. Buildings will block your line of sight. Make sure to keep track of your objective. Anchorhead Bay, that sounds familiar. I think there's like a mission, or not a mission, but uh something here. But I think it's like maybe the multiplayer is set here. It's friendly. Yeah, so once you've targeted the the things, like, they'll only stay targeted if you're, uh, if they're enemies. Is that a baseball field? Let's Something like that. More the merrier. Damn it. Oh, 
don't think that is a baseball field. I kind of like one from my angle. Hey, checkpoint. Fighter. Yep. Fighter. Yep. Damn it. Oh, friendly targets. Well, I guess they're not targets if they're friendly. They're just friendlies. Full lasers. But, oh, damn, you see that explosion? Oh, man. Alright. Another one. That should take care of that. Oh, I don't know if I, I did that target well. Oh, well. Not Gruner. These guys are bad news. Hey, that, that canopy was glowing. Strange. Wait, what? Oh, something in the air. I wonder if these are the same F-18s that attacked us in Mission 7 or 8. I mean, obviously they aren't the same if those got shot down. Oh, damn it. Okay. This is a pretty well-designed mission. Like, the whole target ID thing doesn't, like, take too long, and I think it works pretty well for the atmosphere. Oh, damn. Y'all. Why didn't you get a tank? It's nice if my friends could help out. Come on. Okay. We're only at 16. Oh, 
friendly. Hey, so we did get a radio. Oh shit, our tank. Friendlies, very good. From illusions. Still got about 200 KLSLs left. I'll be in good shape. Guys. Oh, but those are enemies. Is that you? Are you doing this? No, that's just friendly erosion. What? Oh god. So I am innocent. Hooray. It always does that. And it doesn't sound like that crazy of an idea. Oh, damn it. So PLSLs can't go through clouds. Makes them kind of ineffective in certain situations. A checkpoint sixteen three. All right. So outside of the tunnel. Things not flying too aggressively. Wonder why. Right, let's see. This what? Is what I was talking about? Shit. Almost hit that tunnel. Ah, these night flights are messing me up. Sonic level. Oh, it's like Green Hill Zone and all that kind of stuff.
What are you flying? Chopper! Oh, time stopped. afterburners work. There's right quite a lot of light. Oh wait, no this is gonna be the beacon of light. Lasers! Hopefully there's just like no one above me. I don't know, you know, hit some satellite debris and prevent it from falling to the ground. logo on it. It's a... I think that was EASA, which is Rouge's. Uh, I don't know what they do. They work with Rouge. Hello. I have my PLSO trained on you. Oh, Dr. Schroeder. Yeah, this is the part of the game where, like, all the cutscene stuff starts, like, actually, like, playing a part in the story. So, yeah, this one shit gets good. Uh, why those go red? Why is it glowing red? That's not good. I never trust things that glow red. Like, uh, I don't know. Those coily burners that like, hey, who's doing that? Oh shit! Negative. Well, even if they are Ocean fighters, they shouldn't be attacking civilians. Why twenty-three? Oops, looks like you took two hits. It's well made Welcome. aircraft. Holy shit. That was like some like crazy dialogue timing. You know it is. Oh. 33. Tell your dad. Oh. Kinda don't want to be wasting my PLSLs. They're a really good weapon that kind of make up for displaying shortcomings. There we go. What's wrong, Count? All hostile aircraft eliminated. The liaison is safe. Wait. The escort fighter is. The drive. They're missing the drive. What the hell? You gotta be kidding me. Liaison escort has a radar lock. They're targeting you guys. What the hell? We were just helping them. Arusian aircraft. This is AWACS Longcaster. Do not engage the liaison. Break off now. Can you hear me on this channel, OCCraft? Those escort aircraft are drones. They are currently being operated autonomously. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Don't do that. By anyone. They are flying on their own volition. What? In that case, we have no choice but to shoot the aircraft down. We did what we could. All right. It's free. You are cleared to attack the escort. Not too tough. Welcome. Understood. Welcome. Oh god, not MQ 99s. Love watching the missiles light up my plane at night. 
I agree with you for once, Count. Why would you give it the rights to do that? I feel like no one, like, no one in the original army thought this could go wrong. And look where we are now. Why is there a duck in your cockpit, dude? All quacking all over the place. Oh, nice. I like how fragile the MQ-99s are. It's a very easy to fight. Four missiles left! Oh shit! Alright, we'll have to start using the PLSL soon. Damn, three missiles left. Okay. Can't beat these guys in a turn fight. Let's see if I can snipe them with some lasers. Four bandits left. Nice. Love listening to those hit. I wonder if, what the sound like a laser hitting something makes. Like, I wouldn't expect it to make any sound, but, I don't know, maybe like, I don't know, maybe the material getting all messed up would cause it to emit some kind of noise. No more missiles. Missiles are outdated anyways, it's laser time. And, yeah, no other targets. There we go. Thank you. Well, that's a relief. Man, these last missions get crazy. Oh, flying kind of towards the end of the map. Don't want to do that. The OCN aircraft is here to pick us up. The approaching OCN aircraft. Losing his army? The Elaborate. They stole our sealed orders. It should be a piece of cake. Are you sent by the general staff? Oh no. What the fuck, man? Attack on the base, Cyclops has scrambled after being on standby. We'll head up too once our planes are ready. Oh, and Labarth is dead. Oh shit. What did you say? Apparently, he was shot down by another Ocean aircraft after he left the area of operations. I mean, I know it was chaos, but still. At any rate, the sealed order operation has come to a close. We have no idea about a plan for going forward. All we can do for now is watch our own backs. What's up with the commander? He's staying in his room. He's still alive, since we can hear him crying. Alright, got an A rank on that one, and I got about... I almost got a million MRP, and a new nickname. It's nice, I guess. So, next up uh, is mission 17. I, I know it's one of two missions, but I don't exactly remember which one, but... Anyways, stay tuned for that, and have an awesome day.